Hello everyone. Uh, so this video is to know how to read uh, a document which are being generated from a drill bit. So one can just press the down button here, similarity report download. So once it has been downloaded, so it is having some of the information in a very first page. So author name, title which are being provided. What is the submission ID? This will be generated from a drill bit. Submission date. What is the date and time? What is the total pages of a document? And what is the type of a document? So this will be selected from a person or an examiner during the uploading of a document. So to see what are the different types of a document which have been possibly provided by the drill bit, you can see our lost video. Uh, that will be popped up the popped our linked in the screen top screen so the here the similarity is 36 percent the student or a user have been copied out of 56 pages 36 percentage of the words has been copied from an online sources what all the type of sources the person have been copied out of 36 25% is being copied from student papers. What is the student paper actually means that if the student is from B or a publisher is from who is doing undergraduates or postgraduates. So those papers will be characterized under student paper. So next out of the 36, 4% is from internet. Internet actually means that you can so the person can be copied from any of our internet sources. So it can be script or it can be like uh, any of our Google Drive links or it can be Google Scholars, any of our online sources, 3.34. And next one is journals or publication. So out of 36, 8% or 7.6% have been copied from journals. Journals actually means that the research scholars or the PhD scholars or who the person who have been completed the PhD. So they will be publishing their work in journals, in a reputed journals. It can be Scopus, Web of Science, so on and so on. So out of this 36, 0.24% of words are inside the quotes. So here what exactly this inside the quotes actually means that so if any of a person is writing any of a laws, universal laws, symbols or any types of a equations. So if this content need to be excluded or how many percentage of content have been available is in this respective document is 0.24. So words less than 14, how much of Less than 14 words which have been copied from the internet that have been present in this document is 5.11. So what this actually 14% actually means that. See consider the student have been taken 14 continuous words from this respective website. If this so, if this is the condition then it will be detecting that if the words is more than 14 or less than 14 words in this respective document is 5.11%. And if this have been excluded, if this contents have been excluded in the settings, sources less than 14 word similarity, if it is excluded, these words will be or this percentage will be detected from the final percentage of plagiarism so this won't be done or uh, this is the settings which have been provided so not in excluded means the sentences will be included in a plagiarism check so this settings means quotes not excluded sentences which have been written inside the quotes is not excluded references and bibliography has been excluded from this plagiarism level Sources less than 14 words is not excluded from this final level of percentage. Exclude source is 0. Exclude phrases or less than 1% or any of the things these are not 
excluded. So what it actually says is that which have been excluded, oh, sorry, which have been not excluded actually means that in this percentage, this has been added. So this is the one what this information is going to give you up with. So after doing this, so it will be generating that wherever the one number have been provided in a document, those sentences will be copied from this respective website. How much percentage have been copied from this respective website is 11%. So that the student or a person can go through which are all the sentences they have been copied and they can rectify this. In the same manner, 2, 3, 4, you can just check in the document. So, this is a number. So, you can just see if the person have been changed the whole sentence here, but it have, they have been retrieved this continuous sentences. So, this has been detected by the two, one. So, one actually says that this sentences have been downloaded or copied from that respective link. So, in the same manner, you are having numerous numbers here. And numerous numbers will be detect saying to the user that from this respective link, this sentence has been copied. So, this is the version where uh, the student can read this one. So, another thing is, uh, so, this will be provided to the examiner. The examiner can see what are all the things, what are all the sentences, bit by bit, sentence by word by word, the examiner can see from which uh, website the respective sentences have been copied. So here they have been provided with the list of uh, the links where the students have been copied. So if you, if the examiner can click here, you can just get into the document where that respective contents have been taken from this respective research piece dot ukzn so it has been copied this table from this respective website so in the same manner from this sixth link the student have been copied this many sentences so this is a way the person or examiner can easily see sentence by sentence in an respective documents and the student have been used the chat GPT. The students have been used the chat GPT to generate 11% of our words. So this will also be highlighted to the examiner. So next thing is, so if the student have been used any of a shortcuts if the students have been used any of a shortcuts like this like if the sentence is i am from india if the student have been made had been added student or a person have been added e between the i and a, am and from from and india and this e have been made it as white then this flag will be detected. This is what I am going to just say here. So this one will be detected. Uh, I am just showing the things here. This report have been en encountered more than 122 hidden files or a hidden characters. So what this is going to tell is, so this is the thing I have been just told with adding e here after adding e making it as a white so for a naked eye it is not visible but the word is only detecting that there is no word like this like a sentence or a full letter i e a m e f r o m e i n d i e so in the same manner tool will also detect it saying that these many hidden files have been present in a respective document so kindly don't use any of the shortcuts write the sentences on your own 
So if you are using the shortcuts also, the tool is intelligent enough to detect it. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, for a quick uh, sum up, uh, what we have been just discussed here in, an, uh, in this video is how to read a document, what all the percentage levels, how to see the percentage levels, in that percentage what have been excluded, what have been included and next what are all the shortcuts which have been used by the person and how the tool is going to detect those shortcuts. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching this video.